Okay, boys and girls, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting up a whole inside round roast. I actually got a spectacular deal on this, which is uh, $62 for all this meat, which is pretty significant for me. Okay, so we're going to want to remove the bag. Usually I do this. I previously drained the blood so that this wouldn't be a total mess. And I've got the table lined with wax paper so that it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, I'll just discard that. Now, this is a lot of meat to do at once. So you're going to want to have a lot of room to work with. Okay, now, you'll notice here that it starts to round off around here. This is what you're going to want to cut off for your steak, the stew meat, uh, you know, just bits and bobs. So we're just going to take it out here. Cut that open. Unlike the smaller cuts of meat that I did, this one's going to take a few slices to get through. Unless I had a bigger knife. Ah. Now you see, this has all this in it. That's why this is the stew meat, okay? Ah. Now from there, what we do is we go in about that far. This is going to be two nice roasts. We're going to do it that way. So we just go down through here. See, like I said, a lot of meat. <laughs> Some poor cow gave up his life. It was not a small cow. Jeez. Oh, I don't think I'm ever going to get to the bottom of this one. I'll just sneak it this way. Now, we'll trim it off a bit. Get rid of this stuff. That's that. I'm gonna cut that in two for nice, two nice roasts. Now, this one, what we do is, ooh, my knife is underneath the cow. Okay, we square it off a little. Maybe this, this two can go stew me, or you can do some cute little steaks out of it. Now, once we have it squared off like that, uh, yeah, squared off that side too. <laughs> See, it's beautiful meat. Okay, now. I'm going to have to edit that. Press the button, my hands are all bloody. <sighs> okay, we're gonna just sort of cut this away. Because it's actually quite loose. Now, I like to <clears throat> cut a little bit of the fat off when I'm doing the steaks. Because it prevents flare ups and whatnot. This is just fat. You can do whatever you want with that. I don't need it. Okay. Also, be careful with your knife because it gets quite slippery depending on your handle. Okay, now, what I do here is I mark off nice one inch stakes. First one's going to be a bit wonky, but eh, nothing new for us. Okay, just like so. Now you can just trim off that ends and bits. Okay, I uh, just keep proceeding through here uh, like that, and I'll fast forward until the end. Okay, as you can see, we fast forwarded. I have a large amount of stew meat because that's actually what I wanted. I use these uh, for different stir fries. She said the bathroom throw was itchy. Sorry, that's why she was talking. 
Okay, uh, as you can see, we fast forwarded. I have a large amount of stew meat. This is what I wanted because I like, you know, making a lot of slow cooker stews and whatnot and stir fries, which is great for, you know, beef and whatnot. I have a few smaller roasts for my slow cooker. And I've got quite a few steaks. Uh, the steaks, I have more than this, but there's actually a bunch of them on the barbecue right now, so fingers crossed with that one. As you can see, it's a cheap, easy way to get a lot of meat. Bon appetit.